And now here's what I expect could happen next week. Could happen, right? We have Papa Powell coming out 9 a.m. Uh, Tuesday. So Monday, we could see some inside trading day. We could see perhaps a push to 390. Nothing major. I do not uh, expect uh, a big, big move. Um, perhaps a gap up, something that looks like this, an indecision doji or a small body candle, whatever. Nothing major. I do not expect something major Monday. But then Tuesday, we could see something that looks like this, a big, 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 big sell-off on Jay Powell, on Hawkish Powell. We go back to retest this support line and we form a um, tombstone topping pattern, something that looks like this, right? Massive rally, indecision or small candle, massive sell-off. We set on top of this support line. Everybody thinks the market is going to break down. CPI is coming in hot, et cetera, et cetera. And then the opposite happens. We gap up and then we take out 390 and we have a big old rally. Now I could see the market playing out that way. That way makes a lot of sense to me because it will shake out the most amount of traders. And if I've learned anything over the years is that the market is evil, at least that's how you want to think about it to protect yourself. Just think about the most outrageous, the most really vile and evil way the market can trade and uh, be ready for it. And, and in my opinion, this would be the most vile way the market will shake out traders, right? Everybody goes long here, long, 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 rah, 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 rally. Then we get a small uh, rally Monday. Papa Powell comes out Tuesday. We get a gap down. We sell off massively. We squat right on top of the support line yet again. And then CPI comes out and then we rip to the upside in a face ripping rally. That could happen on a scale of 1 to 10, 1 being a forgiving market and 10 being an evil, nasty market. This would be a 10. This would be, this would be an evil, nasty market that just wants to shake out people. And so I think it is possible, very plausible, in fact. This is just uh, my way of thinking about it, to be prepared uh, for massive shakeouts. That's just my way of really managing risk is to think about these uh, kinds of uh, things and just be prepared if we get a massive dump and then we rally. Alternatively, guys, we could actually do the opposite, right? We could rally to 390 and then dump on CPI. That's also possible. One way to look at it is always be prepared for the day before CPI. What I'd like to see is something that looks like this. A big, big dump ahead of CPI. That tells me the market is bearish. And um, usually when that happens, we see the opposite reaction the day after and a massive rally. Same thing happened here, guys. Take a look at this. Uh, market was pretty bearish. We had this topping tail. We had another sell-off and then we had a massive rally on CPI. So that's what I want to see. I want to see the market being bearish ahead of CPI. If you want to see a rally, if you want to see the opposite, if you want to see a crash on CPI, you want to see the market uh, going euphoric. Something that looks like this, right? And then uh, reality slaps the market right in the face and we get a massive dump. Now, there's a reason the market trades this way, guys, and it has to do with the options market. Market makers are net option sellers. They write options and they sell them. And the way they make money is by you buying the option and then selling it back to them at a loss. And so if you are bullish, let's say, uh, going into CPI, then you buy, let's say here, the market rallies, and then you see a massive dump ahead of CPI. You get scared. You sell your option at a loss. Market makers uh, book their profits, and then the market shoots to the upside. That's how the options market really remains efficient, is it tries to make you sell at a loss, right? So even if the market is rallying, even if CPI is good, you see this uh, dump ahead of CPI, you get scared, you sell, then the market rips. The opposite, right, happens here. The market rallies, rallies, rallies. You buy anticipating a massive uh, face ripping rally. Then you get a, a bad CPI read and the market dumps. So that's just a small note on how a market psychology works. Again, I expect something that looks something like this. Monday, uh, a little bit of a rally. Tuesday, we sell off. Wednesday, we sell off or just stagnate. And then Thursday, we see perhaps a rally if CPI comes at expectations or below expectations. Again, comes back to this theory, right? 
where the market perhaps rallies Monday, stagnates, and then comes back down Tuesday and Wednesday. Uh, something that looks a little bit like this, right? We like weakness ahead of CPI. We like weakness ahead of CPI, uh, right? It comes back to the nine-day moving average here. It comes back to tag the support line. I want to see it come back and tag the support line uh, for a nice reaction to the upside on the CPI release date. Now, that's assuming CPI comes down, and I do expect CPI to come down. That is my current expectation. Oh, wow.